Hi everybody, I wanted to make a little video here about one of my favorite games from the good old 386 days and probably the 286 days actually. It's called EGA Trek and I mentioned this game in my 386 retrospective video. There's quite a number of videos about EGA Trek on YouTube already, but I noticed there's only one video with a gentleman on an old laptop who's running EGA Trek version 2.0 which actually has the Enterprise and Klingons as opposed to the newer version which has a ship called the Lexington and a race called the Mongols. I assume that at one point there was some sort of copyright issue between the author of the game and Paramount which holds the Star Trek license. So I thought it would be interesting for some people to make a quick little video that shows the differences between sorry everybody I had to grab a quick phone call and I sort of forget the sentence that I was in the middle of but anyway um, long story short I'm gonna show the difference between these two games so just something to be aware of when the game plays its PC speaker music the microphone is completely drowned out so I'm going to try to let the music play, and then when it stops, I'll s discuss what we saw on the screen as far as to point out what the differences will be. All right, so let's, let's see what I have to launch here. Okay, EGA Trick. EGA Trick. As you could see from that main screen, this game is called EJ Trek, the Mongol Invasion, with the USS Lexington, which sort of resembles the Enterprise, but it is not exactly the Enterprise. So, the only difference in this game to the old one, besides replacing some of those graphics and names, is when there is a, a distress call from one of the planets, they tell you the sector that the distress call has come from. It makes it a lot easier to save the planet than in the old version, they did not tell you the sector of the planet. So you had to, as you were playing, record sectors that had planets and maybe try to go back and visit them. So it was a lot more difficult. So I'm just going to go into the game here and maybe get myself blown up because uh, there's a neat little animation when you get destroyed that you can see. All right, so no, I don't need a briefing. There's many other videos on YouTube that have people going through talking about how the game's played and all that. If everyone's interested in me doing it, I'm happy to do one. I just figured it's not really worth it since there's many other ones out there. But if you sort of like my style and a couple people want me to make a Let's Play or something of this game, I am happy to do it. But right now I'm just going to skip through and, and get blown up. Alright, so restore save game, no. Dr. Hodes. Five. Ah. Uh. Alright. Okay, should be pretty easy to get blown up here with all these ships around, so I am going to lower my shields, and I'm going to fire one torpedo at this guy in 3-1 here. Alright, we'll see if I get blown up from all these guys. Oh, not yet. Um, Alright, and as you can see in the damage report down at the bottom, bottom right, it shows, you know, so many hits from the Mongols. And the little graphic of my ship is the little white object on the top left grid there and that is the Lexington and the, the Mongol ships look like Klingon battlecruisers so they have not changed 
the graphics for them just the enterprise and of course instead of being called Klingons they're called Mongols all right so that was what a torpedo looked like let me fire some phasers Oop, are my phasers destroyed my phasers appear to be oh actually they're not called phasers in this game I almost forgot they are called lasers I need to fire lasers <laughs> Again, I'm happy to do a playthrough of this game to, to explain a lot of it, but as you fire your lasers, uh, you can see the temperature goes up and systems get damaged and you can divert energy between shields and your systems. And you know, It's really actually a pretty sophisticated game for its day and a lot of fun to play. And let's see, hopefully I get destroyed. Wow, boy, these guys are having a hard time blowing me up here. Um, See, maybe I can divert some energy to my shields. So we'll divert it from main energy, and we'll uh, divert energy to system 3, and we'll just overload it. We'll waste energy. Divert 2,000. Energy lost. Great. Now I should easily be destroyed here. All right. Fire another torpedo. Oh, all my torpedoes are damaged. Fire lasers. surrender and uh, no man all right I'm destroyed I got destroyed by a plasma torpedo not a laser <laughs> Sorry, I forgot the uh, PC speaker might overload my microphone. Uh, I got destroyed by a plasma torpedo instead of a laser, so I don't think we get the animation where I get blown up by a laser, uh, which is a shame, but I'll try to get that animation in the Enterprise version of the game. So I'm going to quit out of here. All right. And then I'm going to go into EGA Trek. Okay, and I'm going to load this up, and you're going to see that instead of the Lexington, you're going to have the actual Enterprise, and we're going to have Klingons instead of Mongols. said Starfleet Command, had the Starfleet logo, and had the registry number for the Enterprise. Uh, in fact, it does on this screen as well. So playing this version of the game, you get a much more authentic feel of Star Trek, that you're actually commanding a Constitution-class ship in, in the Federation, you know, whether it's the Enterprise or not, but at least you're in that universe. So I actually enjoy playing this version more than the other version, just because of that authentic feel of being part of the Federation, which is really nerdy, by the way. Yes, I know. Okay, uh, will you require a briefing? No, no. Dr. Hodes, five. Ah. Okay. Oh, there's a planet. Uh, I think you can orbit planets. Let's see, since I'm here, orbit. Entering standard orbit, uh, type N, science. Scanners indicate presence of dilithium on the planet. I may as well do a couple things here for you guys. So we'll land. Let's see, should we do shuttlecraft, transporter, or abort? Uh, let's land our shuttlecraft, why not? Okay, arrived, we successfully mined some dilithium. Returning, so you can use these raw dilithium crystals to get energy if you're not near a star base to resupply. 
All right, so let's move to five comma eight because I think we're if I want I want to go to seven comma seven on the long range scanners, but we got to move an impulse to get out of the way of these planets because you need a direct line of sight to one of the other sectors. Uh, so let's do five comma eight. All right, we're going to change our warp speed to let's say warp five. I'm going to leave my shields down. So my goal is to get blown up for you guys so you can see the uh, depth animation. And also you can see my little character on the short range scanners is a little copy of the Enterprise. All right, so I'm going to move 7, 7, 4, 4. Not too powerful. Maybe I'll blow these guys up for you. Uh, fire three torpedoes. Ooh, he's behind that star. Let's see if I can get one. Comma five. Seven, comma five. You can also, if you shoot torpedoes at stars, they can go super. Sorry, I always forget about that PC speaker. If you shoot torpedoes at stars, they can go supernova. And you lose access to, to that sector. Um, all right, let me move to seven eight here, and I'm going to go warp ten because it'll use up all my energy, so I can get destroyed a little bit easier. Um, and you can see Romulan Death Pod enters quadrant. So there's also Romulans in this game. I forget what they were called in the other game. That commander, which is that red ship up top, should be able to blow me up pretty easy. So let me move to 4-2. Uh, okay, impulse engine still working. Let me move to 2-3. Come on, let's get blown up here. my shields to maybe survive this plasma bolt. Uh, yes, two, one. Okay. I survive. I'm trying to get killed by a phaser here. Okay. All right. That should do it. Prize destroyed. I should get the death animation. Okay, so that was pretty much the difference between these two games. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing the differences between those two games. Now you know that there are two different versions of that game. And again, if anyone's interested in me doing a, a let's play or a long play through one of these games, I'm happy to do it. I just didn't want to do it if you could watch it on another channel. But if I get a couple comments that tell me that you want to see me do it, I am happy to do it. All right, hope everyone enjoyed this video.